Big question, here you go. What side are you on? Are you cake or are you pie? Now I love mm. both, but I clearly have a favorite. Which one is yours, Maddie? There is only one answer and it's cake. Yeah. Okay, Jalen. It just depends on what kind of pie no. we're talking about. Oh, okay. I'm a big sweet potato pie guy. Ooh. Oh, I see, all right. And yeah. Lauren, I think we just recently had a conversation about this. Which one are you picking? Yeah, we were just talking about this yesterday. Yeah. I like pie, you can have it sweet or savory. Hi. Okay, I love cake. In fact, I say that icing is my love language. <laughs> yes. yes. I've made and decorated a few cakes because I love them. I made these Angry Bird cakes for Eric's son Tyler one year. It's whatever the kids ask for, whatever their favorite is, a superhero or Minnie Mouse, all the sprinkles or whatever sport they're into. The last cake I made was bubble guppies and I had never heard of that thing before, but it's whatever the kids want, right? So I want to know, do you remember a favorite birthday cake as a kid? Um. A favorite? Yeah. Not so much, but I do have a specific type. I love cookie cake, so now mm. it's that's the thing. That's cookie the go-to every time. Gotcha. Okay. Maddie, uh, do you have a fave? Is it cookie or is it cake? That's all I'll uh, say about uh, that. It's, it's both. not cake. It's a cookie. <laughs> um, I always put the emphasis on the cake for any event. So every birthday cake mm -hmm. was my favorite cake, and any okay. cake, any time of day. No matter. We don't need a celebration to have cake. We just need cake. Yes. All right, Lauren. I loved Winnie the Pooh when I was younger. Yeah. So for my third birthday, I had a Winnie the Pooh cake. No. Oh. Super cute. Okay. Well, this next cake, I gotta say. I've never seen anything like it. I don't think you have either, and it's worth talking and learning about. This is Leona. She loves the Lion King. You see her here with her cake, but let me give you an up-close look at this cake because it's the scene where Scar sends Mufasa falling to his death. That's right. You can see poor Mufasa just laying there, and get this, the birthday girl asked for it. I felt really embarrassed asking because I thought they would think that I was a horrible parent, you know. Um, and I was like, so here's the thing. This is what my child said. I thought it was funny. We're just going to go with it. Let's just fulfill this really random cake request that we'll look at back at in like 10 years and laugh. Okay, now get this. <laughs> Leona wanted the sad scene for her cake because she says, Everyone would be so sad at the party that they wouldn't want to eat the cake and she'd have it all to herself. Aww. Yes! That's, I'm thinking yes! Yeah. She's a forward thinker. She is. she is. I mean, I've never heard anything like it before. Have you? Um, mm -hmm. I think I am Leona. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say this might be like your reincarnation. <laughs> I need to meet her. Uh, all right, I'm going to leave you with one last little tidbit about cake. Here we go. The reason why we put candles on a birthday cake, well, they say it dates back to 18th century Germany. On the morning of a child's birthday, there there would be a cake with candles adding up to the kids age plus one. The extra candle was called the light of life, representing the hope of another full year lived.